Are you enjoying your snack? Your pretzels? Okay. Where are they? Yeah. Yeah, what are you doing up in Daddy's chair? Yeah. But what are you doing up there? Are you stuck in there, Mia? Yeah. 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 Ah! Dude, oh my. Oh my, don't drop the house. Mia's gonna bring the house down. <laughs> you opened it! Peekaboo! Are you closing it? Are you trapping yourself? Really? Oh, Mia's stuck. Oh my, now she's Wait, standing. Hello? Oh my, oh my, oh. Are you okay? Are you out? <laughs> Morning everyone, today is Tuesday. Today I have a doctor's appointment, will be appointment. My doctor is going to check and see if I'm dilated at all and talk about like our birth plan and everything else that's going to be happening soon. This is my last week of work and it's just crazy that it's coming so fast. We are also having our baby shower later today. One of my friends is going to host it for us and I will bring you along when that happens and keep you updated on everything. Yes, you want to do the party? She went just a little bit. <gasps> Okay, so it's the next day. The baby shower was really good. We had a really nice time with all of our friends over and they they really didn't have to get so much stuff because we didn't really need so much stuff, but it is nice to have just in case. You never know. Extra update on the doctor. So when I went yesterday, she checked to see if I was dilated at all and it turns out I was one centimeter just doesn't kind of surprise me because the night before I was getting a little bit of cramping that didn't feel like normal cramping if that makes sense so I kind of figured something was starting or going to start but as of yesterday, I am one centimeter. We made another appointment, so I'm seeing her every week now. So we're going back next week, next Tuesday, to see her again. And she's going to check and see if I'm dilated anymore. And just basically go from there and just wait for baby girl to decide when she wants to get here. This Thursday is going to be my last day at work. Then I'm going to go on maternity leave just so I have a little bit to spend with Mia and myself before everything changes and it gets kind of crazy and hopefully not overwhelming for her especially. Ricky will be going out on leave once everything does start happening because he has less of less time out than, than I will. So once like my water breaks or they decide to induce me, whatever happened, that will be when he will take his leave from work. So right now we're both working. Like I said, Thursday's my last day. He's going to be working up until something happens and we'll just go from there. But I just wanted to update you because I didn't get a chance to do it yesterday with all the excitement and everything that was happening. Today, I'm once 
hopefully once Mia goes to sleep, when she takes her nap, I'm going to kind of go through the, like, the stuff from the baby shower to see if there's anything that I can put in my bag. So I'm going to go through some, I'm going to go through the stuff to see if there's some of the baby stuff that we can use while we're at the hospital. Okay, what are you doing with your babies? Are you trying to put him to sleep? No! Look at you cooking. <laughs> Mia, do you like daddy's cooking? Yeah? Daddy, This isn't olives, this is beans. We're gonna put beans in. Journey, and we brought you right back here. It's all good. So I heard. 